Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. And in this video, I'm going to show you my hydrangeas in winter. But first of all, I have a little Robin to feed. Let's see if he wants to come and feed. Come on. Yes, he does. I'll give him a couple more now and then we'll start the video. Come on. And the reason why I'm going to do this video hydrangeas in the winter. I've had a few questions about the buds that are starting up. Of course it's still February. Uh, we've had two really cold spells in Britain uh, since December. One in December and one in January. Traditionally January, February can be very cold if it's cold and we just don't know what's going to happen with the weather. So let's just have a little look at what the hydrangeas look like in my garden right now in early February. This is my large Zorro lace cap hydrangea that I've got in the lawn bed. Let's see how it's doing. Right, so as we can see, we've got lots of buds here all the way down. I've left the old lace caps on. Leave them on over winter. No need to take them off. Look at that, lots and lots of really nice buds. Just move over to the Lace cap hydrangea, that was a cutting from the large one I've got on the patio. And here we are once again, we've got plenty of buds here and the leaves are starting. We'll just move over to another large lace cap. Look at this, look at the size of some of these leaves. Look at this. There are crossing branches here. There's all sorts going on. I'll be leaving all this until March and I'll do a video in March showing how I prune them back and deadhead them. It's easy. They'll be absolutely fine. Let's have a look down at the large white mophead hydrangea. And this suffered a little bit in those frosts as you can see here. But if we look down, there we've got the buds. And if it's frosty again, I won't be worried at all. And we'll now move over to the little cuttings I did last year of two lace cap hydrangeas. And yet they are still okay after those frosts we've had. Let's just have a look at them. Here's the first one. There we are, look at that. So as you can see, the mophead hydrangeas and lace cap hydrangeas have been absolutely fine. I say absolutely fine all the time, don't I? Because everything is absolutely fine in our climate. This is zone 9A here, and indeed when we got down to minus five centigrade in December, that is still consistent with zone 9A, because zone 9A has a lowest average temperature of between, I think it's 3 point minus 3.7 degrees centigrade and minus 6. And even if we'd got to minus 6, that still comes down to zone 9A. There will be places in other parts of the country, away from the coast, that's maybe zone 8B, 8A, and I'm pretty sure all those hydrangeas will be okay as well. The reason why we wait till March to deadhead and prune back and take away any of the crossing branches is because then we can see exactly what the situation is with each of the buds, because we will then prune back to a nice healthy bud. We leave the heads on, as you can see here, because that helps protect against the frost. Every little bit helps. So I hope this quick little video will reassure anyone with new hydrangeas that they will easily survive our winter. Now I haven't talked about the paniculata hydrangeas because they are even tougher and many of them won't have even started budding yet because they will get their new buds in the spring and they will flower on that new growth. And I'll see you next time in Paul T's world. Bye.